My name is Claire Ferno. Um, I come from the University of Reading. That's how it's spelt, but it's pronounced Reading, which confuses people hugely. We also had a Reading Reading Centre at one point. I can't tell you what chaos that caused. So, um, welcome. I'm just going to wait while people join us. But what I would like to say is I would like three people, please. Let's start with three around each table. Okay, so I'd like you in groups of three, please, or four at most. If there's more than four, I shall have to kill you. Lillian is all alone. She has no friends. Oh, no, now she's got two. Okay, so in groups of three or four, but, um, but certainly at least three. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to break. If, if, shh, quiet, please. If people, if more people don't flood in, I'm going to um, move some of the people with four uh, onto those other tables. Okay, so that you have the benefit of being in a smaller group. And these two delightful people over here need another friend. Okay. So are you go oh you oh okay you, you do you like your colleague are you happy to work with your colleague is that okay okay good and okay right so we're going to spend this afternoon and I'm, who was here at the morning workshop okay your gluttons for punishment um, thank you for coming again this afternoon we're going to be um, looking at a, a thing called ABC Learning Design Workshop um, which is looks at analysing your curriculum. I know that this workshop was done here at PolyU. No, I'm not at PolyU. Yes, I am at PolyU. It's very confusing. I don't know where I am most of the time, and particularly since I'm slightly jet-lagged. Um, I know it was done here in 2016, I think. So could you put your hand up if you have already done this workshop, albeit in a different format? Good to know. You can... You, was it last year? Okay, you can be my friend. You will help. <laughs> Anybody else? So you did it too, Eric. And your name is? Jim. Jim. J. Jay. 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 And also I know that Adam did it. Uh, this year women are allowed to do it as well. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you have done it before, I know that when it was done last year, it was done um, across faculty and across disciplines. What we're looking at today is uh, looking in a, in a, particularly in a language teaching within universities context, okay? And I'll come back to that in a moment. So can I assume that the rest of you are ABC virgins? Yes. <laughs> Good, I like virgins. Right, so uh, me and Madonna. Okay, um, so this is what a, a design workshop consists of in this context. What you need to know is that this is a workshop that was designed in the UK about five years ago at UCL, University College London, but with funding from one of our central organisations looking particularly at um, technology in learning. And it was designed by a woman working with a team from UCL in London, Diana Lorillard. Have you heard of her, any of you? She's very big in online learning in particular. Um, and a team of people looking at coming up with this workshop design, which has been used, yes, for technology-enhanced learning, but also in other contexts. And we'll talk a little bit more about what some of those might be. So it's, it's active and hands-on. You will be doing most of the work. The work for me was carrying these... Could you hold it up, please? No. no. This. These and, the, and all the cards from England. Uh, but also, I will be taking you through it. It's active and it's hands-on. You'll only have 90 minutes in which to do the actual design of the, of, of the, of the module that you'll be working on. It is activity-based. Um, this will this, be going on, I'm hoping. And I'm hoping that it will also be this. I'm also hoping that you'll get to some kind of a shared vision uh, and that it, what you have in front of you, the big posters, there's, it's like a storyboard. Anybody who's ever designed any video um, or film of any kind, you'll know about storyboarding, cartoon, or anything of that nature. And it is grounded in theory. And the theory is Diana Lorillard's learning types. These are the six, you should all have six car, sets of cards in front of you. 
Could you just count them up? They should all be different coloured, six sets of cards. Good. If you haven't, my lovely assistant is prepared to leap into action and give them to you. It's been used with over, well, by 2017, it's been used with over 500 participants, but I can tell you it's, it's a lot more than that now. And it's actually been used in over 25 countries around the world, including in Hong Kong here last year. Um, it uses Diana Lorillard's learning types, and the learning types are the names on the cards. Okay, so this one is production, for example. So you've got acquisition, you've got production, practice, etc. So six sort of classic learning types. And if you want to read up more about it afterwards, the website is, is, is uh, you just put in ABC Curriculum Design and uh, UCL will come up. It's open source. It was sponsored uh, by a national organisation and people use it. My university uses it for all sorts of things now, not just looking at technology enhanced learning. So what is it? The A means active, the B means blended, so that's where the technology comes in. And I would like you all to be thinking about technology as we go. You'll notice you've got a sort of multicoloured wheel um, on the table in front of you, and that's a sort of suggestion of, of, of some of the activities that we use for, with technology using Blackboard. But I'm conscious Moodle also provides that, Canvas also provides that. And it's connected. So where does the ABC fit in? Well, basically, what we're trying to do is to turn learning outcomes into activities. And activities can be at the macro level, values, strategy, and vision. We're not having any of that today, okay? But it's there, it's in the background. So when you're thinking about program and curriculum, think about your university's values, the strategy and the vision, but, but have that at the back of your mind because really what I want you to focus on today is curriculum design at the module level, at the course level. What do you call, do you call them courses or modules here? What, what, what? Courses, at the course level within a program. And you're, it's at the meso level, which is where you're thinking about things like outcomes and assessment and validation, but the micro level of individual activities and sequences and combinations of those activities and sequences within, within a module, within a course. Okay, so it's sort of at the interface here. Okay, and as it says here, the focus has got to be on what the student does. So an activity-centered design. And what I'm hoping is that you will find this a useful heuristic, if you like, for thinking about program, program design, course design, um, and basically any kind of design where learners are involved. So you, you could take it into other contexts. As I said, it's been done for curriculum across any particular context. My own university, when we have teaching and learning days, for the whole university, for any discipline, we run workshops on this ABC. And what happens is groups of colleagues come along together from the same department with the same module in mind. So you might have somebody from agriculture with a module that they want to work on in sustainable development, for example. They'll come together and spend two hours in the workshop um, designing that particular module, and then they go away afterwards and implement it in more detail. I'm assuming here today that most of you are not here with colleagues. If you are, if you, ch if you want to be with colleagues and work together on a particular module, that's fine. But I'm sort of, could you put your hand up if you are here with colleagues? I know you are. Um, uh, if you are here with, I mean, so if colleagues want, if colleagues want to group together, that's fine. But if you're in a group with people who are from different organized, different universities, uh, please don't sort of say, I think we need to work on our, I don't know, year one um, cutting your toenails module because um, that's the one we're most worried about because toenails are a big problem in our university. And, and you know, so, so you, you need to negotiate and decide at the beginning what you're going to work on. But don't make it specific to a particular course if you're working in a team with people from other universities. That's all I would say. But I'm hoping that you will, you've got, I know you've got enough in common to be able to go beyond that to pick out a topic, a course that would work for everybody. So perhaps everybody's got a problem with toenails. I, I, I don't know. Um, so, the, you, so what I want you to do today, in groups of three I've said here, but because of the tables we actually thought it would be better to ha spread you out a bit more rather than have two lots trying to work on, on one, of, one of these tables here. So three or four, but it needs to be at least three. Okay, so do, do, do that. I want you to decide on your EAP curriculum or ESP if you like, curriculum area of focus. And I want you to give your proposed course a title, 
And I want you to write, you're going to begin by writing a tweet length module description, and you're going to put it on the page that looks like this. Okay, that's going to be the, not yet, but that's going to be the first thing you do. You're going to write a little tweet length description of your module that you, you've decided together as a group that you're going to work on. Okay, and it could be, here are some titles, Intermediate Academic Writing, for example, that would be one that I would have been interested in working on, or it could be something like Developing Critical Thinking Skills, or it could be Transition Course for Students Coming In from um, High School into our, into our, into our Programme, or something like that. Or you can have Advanced Level, whatever it is you want, but you decide together. And if you particularly don't like the topic that your table is working on, then by all means feel free to move and find a group who are. But I hope you'll be able to agree something like this. Part of this is to give you the experience of doing this so that you can take it back to your universities and if you, if you like it and work on it there with people who are your colleagues and who are working with you on the same curriculum challenges. Does that make sense? Is that clear? Okay. Um, so, as I said, you've got the wheel with um, suggestions of the different things you can use if you want to, in, uh, if you want to bring technology in, uh, again, by each of the six learning types. So there's lots of things you can use for production, lots of things for practice, for inquiry, discussion, collaboration and acquisition. You don't have to, but I just think it's always useful, particularly with the students that we have now, to always have technology-enhanced learning at the back of our minds and to be thinking, OK, this is an activity I want to do. What, how can technology help me to do this activity better? You don't use technology for the sake of it, but, but in order to improve the activity. Who here has Blackboard? Who is lucky enough to have Blackboard? Moodle? Canvas? Anything else? OK. Right. I mean, as I say, you don't have to, but just have it at the back of your mind. So here are the, the, the six learning types that you've got. There's the front of the card, which you've got um, facing up, looking at you at the moment. Acquisition, there's a little description of what it is. Collaboration, discussion, inquiry, practice, and production. So these are the different activity types that you'll be thinking, OK, I want my students to do at this point in the course, I want them to do some uh, acquisition work. Or then at this point, I want to do some practice. So what you're going to do, ultimately, is take the cards and actually put them on the storyboard. And that's what the blue tack is for. It's very high tech, this session. This blue tack, some of it's come from England, some of it's uh, Hong Kong blue tack. We're going to do a quality experiment to see which lasts longer. OK, so that's the front. And then on the back, and I'll come back to this in a moment, when you've decided on your activity type, then you need to unpack it a little bit more. But you do the activity types first. And that's what it looks like. You see, I had great hopes of the uh, hexagons. This is a group of teachers from my university. She's in law. She's in maths. They're psychologists. He's another psychologist, mathematician. Uh, etc. Et He's a very senior um, administrator. So we involve everybody in, in working through in teams and groups on this. So that's your white piece of paper, the landscape piece of paper, and there's an example of a completed one. So as you can see, you've got the title, uh, the, the program, the module, or the course name, and then what you do is put in your very short tweet about what your course is going to involve. And then what you do with your red pen is you think at the if you have if the course exists already or if you think what what do you typically do at the moment so if you're doing academic writing when you think about the course a course that you might run say for first year students how much practice do they do how much production do they do how much acquisition you mark them on uh, so that's from sort of not very much down to a lot so that you have a sort of cobweb a diagram a diagrammatic form of what's going on now Okay, typically. If you don't feel you can do that because you're all from such different contexts, then just leave it out. But at the end, I'm going to ask you to look at what you've produced and add that to this diagram as well so that you can see how far you've changed or what the balance is. It's quite a good way of showing the balance. And this bit at the bottom is where you think a little bit about how much of the activity is face-to-face, -face, how much of it is online. 
So you have this line, and you just put a cross where you decide what the balance is going to be of, of, of this course. Is it going to be all face-to-face? -face? Is it going to be all online? Or more typically, is it going to be blended? So thinking about the kinds of things you were talking about this morning with Maggie, those of you who were here. Does that make sense? Is that clear? Yeah. It really is only when you start doing it that it really makes sense, but I just want to quickly go through what you're going to be doing. So that's, that, that's the first activity that you will be doing, that and that and that for the moment. This is thinking about how, what do you want your module to look like, okay? What, this could be, how do you envisage your module will look on the graph above? So that's another way of doing it, saying, okay, we want a lot of practice, we want a lot of inquiry, we want a lot of discussion. So perhaps that's better than thinking about what you currently do. What do you want? What's your target? Okay, and this is how much online learning, how much face-to-face, -face, what's the ratio that you want? So that's sort of helping you to plan, rather than think about what you currently do. I think that's a better way of going. Okay, so this is the um, chart that you've got in front of you thinking about um, what you'll be doing is sticking, as I say, sticking the cards sort of along the time. It's like a timeline. This has got weeks. You can, you can decide what your weeks are going to be, how you're going to do it. You know what your term lengths are and what makes sense for you. Not something to spend a lot of time worrying about. It's more the sequence that matters. But what is important is to think of a whole course. Typically, how many weeks are your courses? 13. So, you know, break it up into 13. That's so unlucky. Uh, break it up into sort of, um, I don't know, six, six. Uh, I know it is. Yes, yes. But they're learning English, so I mean, it's a challenge, that, isn't it? Which is the, where is the luck? Is it on the Chinese side or on the yeah. English side? We'll give them the Chinese luck then. Okay. Okay, so this is what you'll be doing. That kind of thing. That's one way of doing it. Another way is where you sort of piggyback them. You say, okay, we're going to do these together. So that you can either put them one by one or in sequence, or you can say they'll be doing these at the same time. They'll be collaborating in discussion, for example. And that, again, is where the blue tuck comes in to allow you to stick, stick them on. But you are planning a sequence. So it'll look something like this. So you will plan it like that. If you don't have enough cards, my lovely assistant or I, you just put your hand up and say, we're really, really collaborative here. We need more yellow cards and we will bring them to you. Once you're happy with that and you've got the sequence, then you turn them over and you look on the back and then you add details then. I'll just, we'll just look at those cards in more detail. So turn, if you all take a card and just turn it over, there are examples of what might be discussion activities, collaboration activities, okay? And what I'd like you to do is to, if you like, you can say, okay, this is what we do now, typically, but thinking about technology, thinking about other ways of working, this is what we're going we're to do in the future, maybe, for this part of this, this module, okay? It's up to you to talk about current practice, but really what's more interesting is the future, what you think you would do in this new module in the future. And you've got stars. Have you got gold stars and silver stars? You may not get as far as this, but I hope you will. The gold stars are where you've got summative assessment in your program, in your course. And the silver stars are formative. Okay? You just decide, okay, at this point, we're going to have a formative assessment. At this point, we're going to have a summative assessment. You may not get round to that because the time will be tight. But I think it's useful when we're planning any kind of program, any kind of course, to think about assessment. How does it fit in? Where does it fit in? And what kind of assessment is it? So you just, as I, you just sort of stick them on where they appear. Okay, so that's formative, that's summative. Summative, formative. The last time I did this, we didn't get to the, 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 form, the formative. People just ended up putting, quickly putting summative stars on because they wanted to be clear about where the assessment would come. Are you a very assessment bound? Okay, thank you. All right. So are we. And then you can look at your module prototype. That's what you will have. And then at the end, you will go back to your diagram 
this one that you will have done at the beginning, saying this is what we want. We want this amount of acquisition, collaboration. And you'll look at what you've got. You'll look at the colours and the cards, and you'll sort of do in blue this time a different diagram depending upon what you've actually done rather than what you planned. Okay? Just to sort of show that. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you 15 minutes to, to decide on your tweet. You don't have to tweet it, but to write the tweet. Slightly anachronistic, writing tweets, but anyway. You're going to write a tweet there. and that'll, So that, this is where you'll have your discussion around what your module, your course, is going to be about and where you'll decide what it is. So if it's academic writing, you might say academic, basic academic writing, focusing on good sentence and paragraph structure, uh, taking into account referencing from two or three core texts or something like that, okay? Um, whatever, however it is you want to define it. You'll then do your module shape, which is, I'm going to snatch that back from you again, thank you, which is that. What do you think the module could look like in terms of the different activities? What would, you, what would your ideal course be? Then 50 minutes where you actually do the design using all the cards or as many as you want, laying out, first of all, the learning sequence and activities, so laying them out, turning them over, writing on the back, and then deciding on the assessment, so uh, thinking about where the formative and the summative assessment will come. And then finally, in the last 15 minutes, you go back to this diagram and make it what it actually is. And then I'm going to ask, we won't have time for everybody to look at everybody's, but I will ask people to um, be, able, be one person perhaps to stay at each table to talk the others through it, and people to then move around and look at other people's work. Okay, And so that will just be the last 15 minutes. And then we've got five minutes at the end, I hope, to write an action plan, an individual action plan about what you're going to take away and how you might use this. It's a bit complicated. It does work. Uh, I will keep you to, I can say that with great confidence, it's been done in 21 countries, including here, a year ago, so we know it works, but, it, but, but you do need to stay focused and on task, and that's my job as the workshop convener, is, is to get you to do that, and to help you to do that. Are there any questions before we start? Good. Okay. Uh, now, you've got, we've got two spare uh, tables over there. So I really would like groups of four because it's, I think it's just more beneficial to be in a smaller group. You get more talking time and you're language teachers so I know you like talking time. Um, so could I ask one person from that group please and one person from that group and one person from this group to go to the table in the corner. Um, yes. And then the others, that will leave one other and then if actually if anybody would like to just work in a pair, so long as you don't deplete groups too much, you can go, you can go and sit over there. Okay, right. Is there anybody who would particularly like to be working with somebody else because they've got a particular module in mind? Anybody who's here with a colleague who thinks, gosh, we really need to work on our, part, our first year writing module? No. Okay. Do you want to go and join him? He looks very nice. Go and join him, yes. And um, can I ask one of you to go and join them? And that would make a group of three. Yeah, over there. And Eric, would, you, would two of you like to go and work on that table? And then you could work as a pair. Or you can work to, as a four. It's fine. I don't mind. Safety in numbers. Yeah. Yes, that's, yes. Okay, there's a question from James. Is it more productive to think about a course that doesn't work well or a course that does work well? Personally, I would want to work on a course that's problematic because if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, so my advice would be, you know, if you know that there's a particular area that's challenging, go for that. Okay, we have got 90 minutes. Off you go. 15 minutes to think about your module, the title, and the shape. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? I just drop in and have a look in there and see.
a sort of like go in and out are you, are because you a, they're close by so okay okay because we could we've got four there let me just see I'm just checking numbers Three, four. Hello there. We're missing one sheet. Oh, are you missing that one or the, the other one? The other one. You can't get the staff, I find. Right, I will go and get it for you. I will go and get it. You're missing it as well, aren't you? Uh, that, yep, yep, yep. Okay, we're missing this one. It's this one. Yep, yep. There you go, Eric. There we are. Oh, that's... that's You haven't got that, have you? I do apologise. Uh -huh. Are you together or are you with three? With three. You're three. Waiting at herself. Okay, she's coming back. So you haven't put her off. You haven't put her off. Okay, okay. You've done the videoing, have you? Yeah. Good. Let me just check the timing. So. To give them some lights. Oh yes, thank you. And I'm going to go into there and put the timings on it. <laughs> okay. Which one? Just a blank paper. Oh. Oh, no? No, I don't. Sorry, I didn't ask for that. No. How much do you need? How much do you need? I can probably ask. Okay. Is there any, like... Uh, Let me see. Maybe we grab this one. Yes. <laughs> So just really short, just really short.
Yes. Are you doing? Are you coming out with a completely new module? Um, Probably. Are oh, you not? No, so you, really. Not so you're, really. you're thinking about a module that already exists. Do. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Then it's module review. That's what oh, you're working on. Okay. Just put a circle around okay. it. Okay. And who are you? Who are the academics? Don't worry too much about that. And that's that's. But move on to that. So have you, oh, you're doing introduction. Oh, brilliant. Great. Okay. So what? You know, imagine you've got to grab students' attention. What's it going to be? What are you going to say about that? Yes, yes, and also for you to sort of help you focus in on, on what it is you want to do. So we are talking about this is our first year course. We need to help freshmen yeah, understand the conventions of academic writing and make good arguments through, uh, for example, uh, Yes. Okay. That's it. That's your tweet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are they doing it generally, or are they doing it within their disciplines? Generally. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's part one, isn't yeah, it? It's, yeah. For first year students. Okay. That's fine. So it's a general academic writing course for first year students to learn how to develop whatever. It's not a course. It's only one module. Yes. Well, that's yeah. I know. That's what, the terminology. But I mean, just one 13 week experience. Hello, have you chosen your, oh, okay. Oh, that's a wonderful title. That's a very fancy one. Yes, yes. Well, it's a good idea because we've got to get students to choose module. Well, I'm assuming we have to, or maybe it's a compulsory, but anyway, they still deserve a sexy title. I think exactly. that's great. Okay, and then you want you want a bit of everything? Well, this is quite a bit of everything. Okay. You know, okay. this is going to be somewhat lower. Okay, um, not okay. not sure about collaboration. Yeah, yeah. That we were thinking that's a little more assessment -y. I mean, because there's going to be group work and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot of critical thinking. So, so you might come into there then for that. They won't do a lot of that. But they will about production. They can do a lot of production. Well, again, that sort of depends. Like uh, they will have to bust some kind of myth. That's the whole last step. That's right. Okay. So okay. there'll be a, a kind of a paper yeah. involved. Yeah. A long paper? Because you might be there's up There's different there. ways okay. of looking at it. I mean, critical response. Yeah. So lots of short ones. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, you mean, so it's the vo yeah. Okay. And then you know, where are you going to be on here? Have you got your course title? What are you going for? Something like University of English. Okay, that's good. So you put that, yeah, put that up okay. there. Pro, a module type, yeah. Anyway, whatever. As long as you know what you're doing. Yeah. Have you got your? Is this? Have you actually got a course that you're thinking of? Yeah. Okay. Are you happy with that? Do you like his course? I've no idea. They, they, they're from okay. University of Hong Kong. Okay, but but it, but do you like the sound of it to work on for today? Yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah. yeah, and what is it? What do you, what's uh, what's your title? Evolution of civilization. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Have you got your title? Um, we're having uh, we're, we're talking we're, about, we're talking about the same course. thing. We're trying to okay. Um, so. Um, that was entry level EAP for students who are not really up to doing it. Okay, let's have a sexy title. Come on, okay. um, what could it be? Um, uh, uh, boost, about, boost um, your academic writing, or boost your academic English. So it was is that so sexy. Yes, it's yes. sexy enough. Oh, okay, right. It's sexy enough. Well, right. uh, yeah. I'm jet lagged. You're not. <laughs> you come up with something, but you know right. something that yes, sort of yes, really snappy. grabs the yes, yeah okay. snappy. Okay, have you, got, have you got your title, Critical yes. Reading for University Studies? Okay, gosh, that's ambitious for all of them. Yeah, we are. Yeah, okay, it's good to be yeah, ambitious. What, what year are we talking yeah, yeah. about? First year? First year. So is it an introduction to, or is it? Yeah. Okay, okay. And have you got your tweet? Have you you've got your tweet yeah, description? Yes, you're, you're working on that now. Okay, yes, you've got all the buzz noun phrases yeah. in there. Good, yeah. Have you got your title? Yes. Okay. Oh, I like this. Okay, I am speaking. Brilliant. Okay, uh, and you want to have okay, quite a lot of online stuff. Excellent. Okay. Yes, you can move on, but um, I will stop people in a moment. Just double check, but that's fine. You're ready. Yep. Off you go. Yeah. Hello, ladies. So you've got English academic writing. Okay. It's this. Is this part one, students? Is this first year? First year. Okay. 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 So just, yes. 
That's brilliant. Okay, so you could call it survival academic English, couldn't you? I, I like sexy, I like I like I sexy like titles, don't you? Yeah. You know, because you want because students can choose, can they, or do they have to do it? Is it a compulsory module or not? Sure. Okay, but even so, they still deserve a sexy title. Okay, yes, excellent. And then here you might put first year. Um, yeah, first year essential academic writing skills to survive university. Yes, yes, yes. So it's going to be writing. Okay. Integrated with reading? You're going to have it integrated with reading? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you might like something like uh, through integration with reading texts or something. So just so that you're to help you stay focused. Uh, do you all teach that? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Good. Hiya, have you got your Hi. title? What have you got? Academic writing for freshers. Good. Okay. <laughs> Develop persuasive. Yes. <laughs> Across all disciplines. It's not It's not discipline specific, this. It's generic. Yeah. Fine. Okay. And it's for first year students, is it? It's an introductory course. Mm. Have yeah. they done this at school much? Well, I mean, are we developing their persuasive writing skills or are we introducing them to persuasive mm -hmm. writing skills? I'll leave you with that thought. Mm -hmm. And is it discipline specific or generic? Generic. Generic. Good. Great. Okay. You've got, so what's your title? Uh, we are thinking of doing critical thinking. Okay. We need a title, so module name, and then a little bit, a bit about it, just to help you stay on task. So who's, oh, you've got it here. So who's no, it it's, it's, it's okay. just who's it for? Uh, year one students. Year one students. So is it generic or discipline specific? Generic. Like generic, generic. Yeah. And is it introductory? Yeah. We it's hope so. Thinking. Yeah. And is it for low level students or the ones that are you oh, know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think you need all of that somewhere in oh, your okay. in your okay. tweet. You know what I it is. They, it. they need. They already need language, wouldn't they? To express they should be yes. able to do some So you, you could you could have a nice sexy title like upskilling. Upskilling. Upskilling your because I, I think t module names are quite important. Yeah. So you know you could call it upskilling. So all the skills that we're yes, upskill. upskilling. Uh, you know, I think <laughs> so. so uh, and then whatever it is that you want them to do, but do put that in that little box because I think it'll help you to stay so on you track. Upskill, you upskill someone. <laughs> upskill. You could. I think. But, yeah, so I, you upskilling your. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Um, yeah both. Linda, thank you. Right. Thank you. Can I just get your names? Uh, Jay. Jay, yeah. Uh, Linda. Oh, another Linda, right? Okay. There's a Linda on that table. Okay. Uh, You're not Linda. I'm not Linda. No. Andy. <laughs> Andy. Caitlin. Caitlin. But unfortunately, I Is it with a K? Say. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Well, just get what you can out of it, Caitlin, and then you can leave it in their capable hands. Okay, may I get your names, please? Uh, Albert. Albert, yes. Ali, A I R. A I R. L I E. Yes. And Christine. Christine, thank you. Christine or Christina? Christine. Thank you. Your, yeah. Okay, thank you. That's it. Yes. Okay, I'm put it on here. Go on, keep going. Ignore me. Anson. Or week 
Okay, can I, I know that many of you have moved on. Quiet, please. Can I just have your attention? I just want to double check a couple of the, uh, the, 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 the module titles. So we're going to go around very quickly and just ask a few people to say what the module title is. This group here. Okay, critical reading and writing for university study. This group here. Uh, busting, myths myths death, busting myths with critical thinking. Can I just say, I like sexy course titles. I like your title because it does what it says on the tin. It's clear. I like yours because it's sexy. So can we just try and sex up our titles if we get that possibility at all? Because students like it. I mean, and it raises expectations. You can't deliver a boring course with a title like that. I'm not saying you would. Right, group at the back, what was your title? Okay, introducing persuasive skills for academic writing, practice, or introducing persuasive skills for academic writing. Is that right? Across, I couldn't hear. Across disciplines, okay, that's important. This group here? Upscaling your criticality through engaging with media. See? See? I'm not saying anything, but it's just it's got a nice ring to it. This table? You're doing something different, aren't yeah, you? Evolution of civilization. Yes, evolution of civilization. Woohoo! In 13 weeks. That's all I'm saying. Okay, right, so everybody. 12 weeks, it gets less. Okay, everybody's got a great. Shh, quiet, please. Everybody's got a good. Title, everybody's got a clear focus. Is, uh, is, that, is that all right? Everybody happy with the focus on their table? Okay. She says, looking around, never ask a question and then not, not look. Okay, and then learning design, off you go now. You've got 50 minutes to do the storyboarding, to work about your learning activities and use, please, blue tack when you decide where you want things to be. But first of all, lay them out and then don't forget you'll be turning them over. That's the bit, the important bit. Once you've decided the sequence, you'll be saying what you're going to do. Okay, 50 minutes, off you go. Right, I'm doing names, except I've got myself into a mess. That's number one. Yep. Yes. Yes, you are. Now, that's if it already exists, and that's what you'd like it. And the future is the more important okay. bit. Okay. <coughs> what you could do, Ben is when you put, you, you know, that could be what some of the issues are, oh, okay, you know, uh, yeah. and then how you're going to address them if you wanted to think about oh, it that okay, way. Yeah. It's quite, a, you know, it's different ways of using it, but if you're starting from where you, because you're working with an existing okay, course, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that would be like a good idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's one, two, three. And we've got here, we've got Lillian. Oh, I've got the names here. No, I haven't. Right, give me your names. And Doris. Doris. S-T-O-R. D-O-R. D-O-R. Doris, yes. Wendy. Wendy. Nice to meet you, Wendy. Okay, thank you. Can I get your names? Are they on? Oh, they're, yes, they are. No, no, no. No. Okay. Alan. Alan. Simon, yes. Hi, Simon. Michelle. Michelle. Okay. <laughs> and the production category. I'm just checking names. I know right. that reprobate. Uh, uh, that was my dissertation supervisor. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Sorry? N G U N. N G U Y E N. Yes. And Ryan. Ryan. Do you have a daughter? You know the film Ryan's Daughter? You don't know it? No, Before no, you. No. Oh, it's a classic. Okay, I'm just getting names. Ella. Ella. Nice to meet you, Ella. And Olive. And Matthew. Matthew. Nice to meet you, Matthew. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Olive. Okay, thank you. Not so much Can I just interrupt you? I'm just collecting names. I'll have to remember which is which. Right, okay. Issa, I-S-S-A. 
I S S A. Denise. 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 Kawai. K A W A I. W A I. Kawai. Right. Just remember Keith Eric. So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Eric. Oh, he's gone. Yes. Oh, he's he's coming, coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Eric. Yes. Okay. Not so much I'm just collecting names. I've got myself into a complete mess because they're all. Can you give me your name, Sweeney? Sweeney? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Serena. Serena. Yeah. S E R I N A. Yeah. That's it. Chris. Chris. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anson. You're Anson, aren't you? Yes. Albert. Yeah. Albert. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, how would we actually tabulate? Well, things? you decide what. Yeah. What first? I would sort of do this. So think about you know how, what the weeks are. Okay. Because you're going sort of across that way. So you decide. Yeah. Learn a timeline. Ah, okay. So you think maybe I need to draw everyone's attention to that? Right. I mean, I, I was wondering if this is actually a very uh, unique feature at Reading. Yeah. No. No. This is no. This has been used internationally. So you oh, okay. decide. You decide right, what. Okay. So I'll tell everybody. That's really helpful. Excuse me. Can I just interrupt you? The group here, with Albert in it, very royal name, um, he, uh, th they've pointed out the column on the left. No? Yes, on the left. This is the learner timeline. You decide what it is. You, so it's been divided up here into pre-induction, pre-entry, or first year, but you decide how many weeks is it. So you might do it divide it up into two halves of the term or something like that, but you might have a pre-entry component. But that's absolutely up to you, but you decide what your timeline is.